That's why when you're left out, you're the last kid in school. Everyone's gone and you're left out and your parents haven't picked you up. You have this deep, weird feeling inside you. Or you're... The party's over, everyone's gone, you're left out. Or at different times, you're alone by yourself at your apartment or your house. And there's no cats or dogs or kids or friends or whatever. Sometimes you're really happy you're alone by yourself. But then creeps in this deep sense of loneliness. And that goes back to the first imprint that you experienced. It's very deeply rooted. Now... Next thing is that you get, you develop this hate. Do you know why you hate your parents down deep? You have this hate inside you. You hate your parents. As much as you like to act like, oh no, I, no, I love my parents. Of course you love your parents, but you also hate them. And admit it to yourself that you hate them. And you have the right to hate them. Because they left you out. When you were the most helpless, they left you. So you hate them because you were completely dependent to them. You couldn't ask for water. You couldn't ask for milk. You're, you're cold. You're hot. You got diarrhea. You poop in your pants. And it's stinky and uncomfortable and no one's there to change you. You're completely helpless. You're totally dependent on your parents or guardian. And they're not there to, ca to take care of you. Repeatedly it happens all the time so you develop this deep hate and but you're not aware of it then shame and guilt comes that you're not supposed to feel this way about them but it's always there then the next thing happens your parents are the first people that you love them deeply. These are your pathway, your gateway to the utter world. And they're the first people who lie to you. Either if you live in East and a Muslim country or Jewish religious country or Eastern countries, they have mutilated you as a child. You've been mutilated in the very beginning of your life by your parents. They cut you brutally or they lied to you. In Middle East, you go, you get cir circumcised. And you're only two, three, four, five, ten days old. And right in the beginning, entering into the life, they cut your penis. You've been circumcised. In some African countries, they do that to women. You're mutilated right in the beginning of entrance into this world. The people you love the most, they have caught you. In the West, that circumcision is not popular or common. People who you love the most, they have betrayed you. 
and lie to you. Do you know what that lie is? Anybody? The people who you love the most and trust the most, they lie to you about Santa Claus, for example. That Santa Claus is real. So from the very beginning, first year, second year, you're getting gifts. Your relationship with your parents starts based on a lie because Santa Claus is not real. But they made you believe that it's real. So the lie starts from the beginning. You get abandoned and you get lied to. Oh, it's so cute. The children love it. Da, 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 da. But it's a lie. They trust you. They're trusting you. You're the people they love the most. And you're the one who deceived them by telling them something which is not true. This is how you started your relationship. And to this day, it continues. But it's a lie. Why are we lying to our children? Or the story of boogeyman. There's a boogeyman out there. If you're not quiet, if you don't be a good boy, good girl, and just be obedient, boogeyman will come and get you. That's a lie too. Why do we lie to them? And then we expect them to be truthful, candid, honest to you. Well, you weren't honest to them. You lied to them. How do you expect them to be truthful to you? How can you expect someone to be honest to you, your child, when you lied to them from the beginning or you mutilated them, you cut them? So the seed of hate is already cultivated inside the child and it grows. The seed of being abandoned is there. So now, we'll go to another part, third part. How many of you have been in this relationship, this dark, evil, destructive relationship of going from one dark relationship, abusive relationship, to another abusive relationship? I've come across thousands of people in my years of working in this trade, what I'm doing, of women coming to me, telling me of abusive relationships, that they've been abused, they get beaten up, they get raped, they get whatever dramatic relationship, or their kids are in this kind of thing. Oh, my daughter goes from this bad boy to this other bad boy. You all know about it. You all have heard about it. Either you've been a part of it, or you have friends, family, kids that have been in it, brothers, sisters, or men. Who do that? Why do you think that happens over and over? Why do you think a woman is dating someone who beats her, cheats on her, kicks her out of the house, and she just goes back to him again? 